Hello, this is Chair Chat number five. In this video, I'm going to talk about my early years uh, in going to church. Now, was I raised in the church? No, no. Um, we were one of these families that just did, you know, uh, Easter and, and, and Christmas sort of thing. But my mom did try. She really did try to get us to go to church. Um, and I think part of this was all due to an incident uh, that happened where my brother and I, on a very hot day, uh, we were sitting on the porch on Manchester Street, Manchua Avenue, and uh, and again, the, the sun was blazing. And back in those days, these little calendars were kind of these popular gift items that you'd be given for almost any occasion. Uh, they were these, uh, again, these small rectangle um, calendars, and they usually had uh, a thermometer in them. And um, so my brother and I, you know, we really wanted to see um, the thermometer move. You know, we wanted to see it go up, or what's it going to do? It's, it's supposed to do something. Um, so now we're sitting there, you know, the whole afternoon, you know, waiting for this thing to rise. And um, so uh, to most kids, um, something red is associated with something good, something good, something tasty or whatever. Um, so... Um, so it definitely had my curiosity. So what I ended up doing was prying the thermometer out of whatever was holding it in the calendar, snapped it, threw it in my mouth, um, thinking that I was going to get some nice juicy surprise. Well, I did. Um, next thing you know, I'm out and I woke up to being forced to drink uh, tons of milk and gobs of butter. Ugh. Boy, that. And for the longest time, uh, I had a, a thermometer uh, phobia. Um, I was terrified of them. And, uh, and I could still taste that taste. Well, after that, it was like my mother was determined to uh, get us to, you know, at least on Sundays, you know, you guys are going to vacation Bible school. You know, so we had to go to vacation Bible school. Uh, now, I have to say, vacation Bible school was really, you know, uh, it was really a lot of fun. I mean, we made things there, um, and there was a f uh, free lunch. That was probably the main incentive. Um, and, um, and the people were so nice. Um, we in enjoyed that. Um, that was mainly um, not me and my brother, but that was me and my, my sister. Um, and um, so we would do that a lot. And... Um, but there was this other church that we would, that my mother would take us to, um, you know, particularly during the holidays, you know, um, and it was a good walk away from where we lived. And, you know, most people, most urban dwellers are used to going for, you know, uh, long walks to almost anywhere they go because very few people drive. And uh, so you just get used to it. Um, so I remember in this one particular church, it was like this storefront uh, church, um, and you know we would go there. And um, so this would be my brother and my sister, you know, the three of us who were, you know were there with my mom. And um, so now the preacher, he's just going nuts. And and the thing, at least for me, I don't know if it had the same effect on my brothers or sisters, but it's like. Why is he screaming at us? What do we do? You know, because he's just, gah! you know, he's just, you know, doing the whooping and all that stuff, and it was scary. You know, it was just, you know, it's like, wow, geez. Um, so, um, but the thing that was even scarier was there would be uh, some Sundays, uh, and I remember um, where there would be. Uh, uh, usually a lady, and it was almost always a lady when these kinds of things would happen. And all of a sudden, you know, the minister, he's going on and he's screaming at everybody. And um, so, you know, the, uh, there would be one lady and she's just jumping up and she's, her hands are in the air and her eyes are rolled up in her head and she's, 
you know, talking stuff we can't understand. Nobody can understand, you know. But, you know, you hear somebody, you know, in the back row or somebody, she's feeling the spirit. Okay. So she's feeling the spirit. And again, it's like, oh, my God, is she being zombatized? What's what's going on here? Again, this is terrifying to kids, you know, witnessing this stuff. Well, darn if the next time we went to church. Now, again, when we leave, we get bags of candy. So, you know, it, it was worth watching somebody turn into a zombie, you know, uh, uh, with a prize like that. Um, but the next time we went to church, the next time we went to church, you know, the ministry, boy, he's going on. And and um, and my mom, my mom started, uh, you know, her hands are in the air and she's fainting and and you know all this weird stuff and talking um stuff we couldn't understand a word she was saying and it's like where did this come from you know we've never seen anything like this before you know from my mom uh so um it 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 terrified us and it also embarrassed us you know it's like you know we're supposed to be there and we want to help you know our mom but what we really wanted to do was to run out of there (laughs) So it's like, well, we got to do something. Um, so again, that was just just terrifying. And then while that's going on, you know, it's like, you know, the lady who remembered went through this same episode the last time that we were in church. You know, she's giving my mother the side eye, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'll get you next time. You know, it's like, hmm, this whole thing was suspect because maybe they were both faking it. I don't know. But again, it was suspicious. Well, um, the only other uh, incident that I can think of uh, that was really kind of scary for me um, in in church as a kid, and it's kind of funny that these kinds of things would happen, um, which would which would affect, you know, which did affect the reason why, you know, I I just wouldn't go to church after a while um, was so now uh, my mother insists that. I'm getting baptized. Um, You have no say in this. You're getting baptized. Okay. Um, Well, so the day of, or the evening of uh, this event, um, it was dark out. It was winter. It was cold. And it's like, well, Mama, you know, what are they going to do? You know, and she says, well, he's just going to take you and put you under the water. To a kid, this sounds like he's going to take and drown you. <laughs> so it's like, Mom, I can't swim. Um, she said, well, neither can he. Um, so um, now the, the congregation, the congregation, they're all singing uh, Wade in the Water. And this was like this real slow scary version, you know, the weight in the water. To this day, that song gives me the creeps. Um, and and so now they're singing that song, and I'm getting ready to go in, and it was like the whole scene just flashed black and white. You know, it was like this 1950s movie or something like that. And again, it was just terrifying. Um, so, you know, I, I, I got baptized, and and then that was the end of the story. So I will leave you with that. And I will come back next time and tell you more. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye. Oh, as a reminder, if you like these stories, um, feel free to make a donation. Um, and I do want to thank those of you who have made a donation, a contribution is greatly appreciated. And I will leave in the description um, uh, area uh, my PayPal uh, address, which is michefambro at gmail.com. And if you want to become a patron, you can go to my patron Patreon page, which is also in the uh, description section. So again, see you next time.